Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. This video I'll be talking about filament joint like this. Let's scratch to this topic. Okay, so in the past couple days, I've been kind of interested in finding ways to join 3D printed parts together. And one of my favorite joints is using filament like this, leftover filament. So here's one of the answers for you people out there that have this question. What do I print or do with the leftover filament that I can't even print like a piece in my run out? What do I do? Do I just throw the leftover away? Well, nope, here's the solution. You can use your leftover filaments to join 3D printed parts like this. And you could create something cool like this. So this mini figure or Roblox I made here, kind of Lego-ish too, is joined using filaments, leftover filament. As you can see here, the eyes are blue, the head joint there is green, everything else is also green green and it's fully functional, look at this. The arm can move, the leg can move, he can even sit down like that, which is so cool, right? And he can kick back like this, like not, the, not all the way back but pretty close so that's actually kind of relate to real life. You can bend your legs like this and stuff like that but that's besides the point. The point in this video is just joining 3D printed parts like this using filaments, leftover filaments. It's so cool and even the head, look at that. The head is right there. You can just join it together. And with all the leftover filament that you have, you can create something like this or join two 3D printed parts together using filament and it's actually quite strong because it's in a tight space, the filament is small and it's just really cool. It's functional and stuff like that. This is one of my favorite joints. I'm not quite sure what it's called so if you know, let me know in the comments down below what this joint is called. As of right now, I just call it filament joint or connect two parts using filament. Yeah, it's actually really, really cool. The head can turn like this. You can use this to join 3D printed parts. You can even customize this. Make the eye not blue, red, green, whatever color you want or whatever color filament you have. And all of these like shoulder, like the joint here with the legs, look at that. You can change the color. Like let's say I have red, right? Put that red and then hit that to like blue and then the eye to white. It's just really cool the way that you can use filament to join 3D printed parts like this. So I'll tell you how um I did this actually. It's actually super simple if you want to join parts using filament. So the filament I have here is 1.75 millimeters thick. It's not exactly that, it's about 1.7 to like 1.8-ish millimeters thick. So it really depends on the filament you're using. Some filament are smaller than the other filament so just gotta experiment with it a little bit so ideally i just do 1.9 millimeter holes for everything sometimes i do like a 2 millimeter holes if the filament's a little bit bigger and depends on the way how you print your 3d printed parts so for the arm here i print it laying down flat like this and the circle is going up like this right it's actually a lot smaller than the body here because the body is printed like this. The hole is halfway in there. I don't know for whatever reason, the K1 Max and the N3 V3, I think it's just 3D printing. When it prints stuff like this, or when it prints holes like this, the hole tend to be a little bit bigger. You can insert these in a lot easier. But if it's printing like this, right? It's printing like this, the hole is pointing up. The hole tend to be a little bit smaller, so you gotta experiment with it. So this hole is 1.9 millimeters and this hole is 2.1 millimeters. So I don't know, it's a thing filament, but it's just the way the parts are printed. But at least it still fits together really nicely, really well. And yeah, it's just really cool. The arm, um, I the arm I didn't use filament. It's just like a ball joint, so you just stick it in there, and it's still falling out because it's not the best. <laughs> it's not the best one. I just quickly model it really quickly, but it can still spin. You can just do it like that. So yeah, hello, I am made with filaments and filament. Yeah, it falls out. <laughs> it's not the best 3D model I had ever made, but it's still really, really cool. Uh, even have my logo on there, look at that, as 3 db Yeah, but anyway, that is pretty much it with this video. It's a short video, so hopefully you enjoyed this kind of video. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you like using filament joint like this, when, which is really cool, really nice. I will leave links to this, 3D model in the description down below on Make World. So if you want to download this, explore it, make it better, you can go ahead and do it. And yeah, that is pretty much it with this video. And as always, keep on 3D printing.